A professor by the name of Hubert Farnsworth and his assistant Amy finished constructing a mind-switching machine, which is exactly what it sounds like, a device that swaps the minds of any two bodies. Amy wants to be able to eat as much as she wants to satisfy her food cravings, and the professor could definitely stand to gain a few pounds, so they decide to test the machine themselves to fulfill their desires. And it works. The professor's mind is in Amy's body and vice versa. However, shortly after making the switch, the professor realizes it was a mistake, and they try to switch back to their original bodies. But upon doing so, they find out the machine won't let the same two bodies switch minds twice. So the simplified riddle is, how can the professor and Amy use the machine to return to their original bodies? Pause the video now if you'd like to work out an answer on your own first. So you might have guessed they could add in a third person to help switch minds by essentially acting as temporary storage space. But that doesn't quite work. In the episode, they actually tried this with a robot named Bender. Amy's body swaps minds with Bender, so now he has the professor's mind and Amy with Bender's mind. Now the only two bodies that haven't swapped here are Bender's and the professor's, meaning the professor's mind could return to his own body, but Amy and Bender's mind would still be stuck in the other's body because they've already swapped with each other, and no two bodies can swap minds twice. However, if instead of adding one extra person into the mix, we add two, let's see what we can make happen. With four people now, there are two other possible switches the professor and Amy can make, each with Bender and Fry. And if instead you think of switching in pairs, it becomes a little easier to figure out. Say the professor's body switches with Bender's. Well, we're switching in pairs, so that means Amy's body has to switch with Fry's. The only other switch the professor's body can make is with Fry's, and the only other switch Amy can make is with Bender. And it just so happens that if those switches are done, their minds return to their original bodies. The only problem now is Bender's mind is in Fry's body and Fry's in Bender's, but they haven't switched with each other yet. So that switch can be done, and now everyone is back in their original body. Did you get it? Well, now let's transition into the actual riddle the crew had to solve. The setup is exactly the same, but the amount of bodies that switch minds is on a much larger scale. In the actual episode, instead of just two people switching minds and getting stuck, it was actually nine. The Professor, Amy, Bender, Leela, Fry, Zoidberg, Hermes, the Robo-Hungarian Emperor, and everybody's favorite character, Wash Bucket. The order in which they switched minds is also important, as no two bodies can switch minds twice. First, as you know, the Professor and Amy switch minds. Then, Amy and Bender switch minds. So far, so good. Next, the Professor and Leela switch, followed by Fry and Zoidberg. Amy, with Bender's mind, switches with Wash Bucket, and then convinces the Emperor to swap with him. And finally, Hermes switches with Leela's body and Amy's mind. At the end of the episode, everyone wants to switch back to their original bodies, bringing us back to essentially the same question. How could all nine of these characters use the machine to successfully switch their minds back to their original bodies? I'm sure at this point, you can guess we have to add more people, but how many more do we have to add? When two people were stuck in the opposite bodies, we had to add in two extra, making four total people. So what do you think? What's the minimum number of extra people we would have to add to switch back nine different bodies. Once again, pause the video now if you'd like to see if you can work out an answer on your own first. First, let me say this. The solution had to be written as a mathematical theorem and proved by the show's co-executive producer, Ken Keeler, who has a PhD in applied mathematics from Harvard University. So don't feel bad if you couldn't figure out the answer. The answer is still two more people. Now, before you click off the video, let me show you exactly how it's possible. Given the switches that have already taken place in the episode and the bodies each mind is in, it can actually be done in as little as 13 switches. With only the addition of two Globetrotters, Ethan Bubblegum Tate and Sweet Clyde Dixon, they all do, in fact, make it back to their original bodies with no two of the same bodies switching twice. Feel free to skip back and watch a different person each time. It's kind of fun to see each person returning to their body without breaking the machine's rule. This five minute video took me a really long time to make. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I also have a ton of shorts covering Futurama and other TV episodes. So feel free to check out those on my channel as well.